Thessalonicim Aleph, Chapter 2 For you yourselves know, brothers, that our coming to you was not in vain, that having suffered before and having been mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we were bold in our Elohim to speak to you the good news of Elohim in much struggle. For the appeal we make does not come from delusion, nor from uncleanness, nor from deceit. But as we have been approved by Elohim to be entrusted with the good news, so we speak, not as pleasing men, but Elohim who proves our hearts. For we never came with the word of flattery, as you know, nor with a cloak for greed, Elohim is witness. Nor were we looking for praise from men, not from you, nor from others, though we could have been a burden to you as emissaries of Messiah. But we were gentle in your midst, like a nursing mother warmly loving her own children. So, having a tender affection for you, we were well pleased to share with you not only the good news of Elohim, but also our own lives, because you have become beloved to us. For you remember, brothers, our toil and hardship. For laboring night and day, in order not to burden any of you, we proclaim to you the good news of Elohim. You are witnesses, Elohim also how set apart and righteously and blamelessly we behaved ourselves among you who believe, even as you know how each one of you as a father to his children, encouraging and comforting and bearing witness to you that you should walk worthily of Elohim who is calling you into his own reign and esteem. And because of this we thank Elohim without ceasing, that when you received the word of Elohim which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is truly the word of Elohim which also works in you who believe. For you, brothers, became imitators of the assemblies of Elohim, which are in Yehuda in Messiah Yahashua, because you also suffered the same treatment from your own countrymen as they also from the Yehudim, who killed both the master Yahashua and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and who displease Elohim and are hostile to all men, forbidding us to speak to the nations that they might be saved, so as to fill up their sins always. But the wrath has come upon them to the utmost. But we, brothers, having been taken away from you for a short while, in presence, not in heart, were much more eagerly trying to see your face with much longing. We would therefore have come to you. I indeed, Shaul, more than once, but Satan hindered us. For what is our expectation or joy or crown of boasting? Is it not even you, before our master Yahashua Messiah at his coming? For you are our esteem and joy.